Christopher. I was born in the Bronx, New York, in December 1941. I've always felt responsible for World War II. The first thing I remember liking that liked me back was food. I had a bad puberty. It lasted 17 years. I'm a high school graduate. I went to art school. My entrance exam was on a book of matches. I decided to move out of the house when I was 24. My mother still refers to this as the time I ran away from home. Eventually, I ran to Minneapolis, where it's cold, and I figured I'd keep better. Now I'm back in Manhattan. New York, this is your last chance. Please stop worrying about my wedding gift. <laughs> I wasn't worrying about a gift. I was thinking about waffles. <laughs> you know, I thought I had it all solved this afternoon by giving you a shower. Brenda, now listen to me. Showers are for girls your age. Yeah, but the only trouble is most of us don't get married until we're your age. <laughs> Listen, I love anything that you give me, really. I love the fact that you're, you care this much about it. Really, I, it's wonderful. In fact, let's make that your gift to me, that you care this much. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> How about a yogurt maker? <laughs> I really feel stupid bothering you about this, but I mean, it's so deep now, it's really important I come up with something good. I might be the first person to die of wedding gift failure. <laughs> want some health cereal? Sure, sure. What kind of milk do you want on the cereal? Regular, low-fat, non-fat? What are you having? Chocolate. <laughs> Brenda. Mm -hmm. You know what I liked about the shower idea? Even if it was a rotten shower, you know, we could still have a lot of fun talking about it afterwards. Yeah, Brenda, no, no. Showers are not my style. I'm too old to giggle. I'm never gonna think of anything. <sighs> okay, maybe the shower is not such a bad idea. Yeah? Except I don't know if I can be guest of honor at an affair where you know everybody's talking about you. Oh, you've heard it all before. Oh, have I? I mean, Darwin. When I heard Rhoda was getting married... I screamed so loudly... ...that my husband rushed right in from the new dry heat sauna and said, Helen, don't tell me Rhoda Morgenstern is getting married. <laughs> well, my dear, you could have knocked me over with a paper towel. <laughs> I mean, that girl, girl, <laughs> she's 33 years old and this is her first time around the track. <laughs> I think it looks sensational. Yeah, terrific. Very clever, you know. A shower, umbrellas. Terrific. Uh, you remember my friend Ellen? Smile. Beautiful. Thanks. Now hold on, I want to get one with you in it too. <laughs> Rhoda, I'm taking pictures of the whole shower. Now it's including developing and printing, one of each. This is my gift to you, Rhoda. Thank you very much, Ellen. That's great. Uh, okay, now you. Where did you find people to invite to this event? Come on, come clean. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I got your high school yearbook. I sent out invitations to all the girls who wrote in it. Forty-eight of them. My high school yearbook? Yeah. Father, well, uh, you know, I never knew that you were in the choir. Oh, I never was. I just wore the robe for four years so nobody could see my hips. <laughs> 
Congratulations, huh? Hey, how many are coming? No, no, let me guess. Seven. No, five. <laughs> Twins couldn't make it, huh? No. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this is Carlton, uh, your doorman, speaking from the, uh... The lobby? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lady down here. She says she's from high school. But she looks like she's got quite a few miles on her. Well, uh, send her up. I'll try. <laughs> Listen, Brenda, I gotta know who's coming. Why? Because then when I say, oh, you haven't changed a bit, I'll know who I'm lying to. <laughs> well, uh, there's Jeanette Lamont. Oh, Jeanette. Mm. Oh, that's terrific. I love her. I remember we used to practice smoking together. <laughs> and uh, Susan Alborn. Oh, easy, Susie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Myrna Morgenstein. Oh, my little friend from alphabetical order. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Linda Monroe and Harriet Stronger. Wait a minute. Did you say Linda Monroe? Yeah. No, no. Well, what, is something wrong? Oh, well, not really. I mean, listen, it's been 15 years, right? Maybe she's changed. <laughs> we thought that uh, she was a friend of yours. No. Yes, yeah, she wrote in your book, Good Luck with Chuck, Love You Forever. Oh, yeah, and after she wrote that, she told Chuck that I didn't go in for heavy petting, and he dropped me. <laughs> what, was, what was considered heavy petting in those days? Mm, when you came home with less angora than you started with. <laughs> Rhoda? Rhoda Morgenstern? Myrna? Myrna Morgenstein? <laughs> oh, 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 hi, Zena. I'm so happy for you. I mean, I was happy at the other 79 showers I went to for our class, but not as happy as I am for you, because you're the last one. <laughs> Myrna, I want you to meet my sister, Brenda, and this is her friend, Ellen. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Same here. Oh, Myrna, I remember back in school when they used to call roll. Everybody would say here, except you. You always said present. <laughs> that, that, that was my only way of being different. I was very shy back then. <laughs> oh, Myrna. <laughs> Tell me, what did you do after graduation? I went right home. <laughs> What I meant was, uh, you know, later. I mean, what's going on in, in your life? Oh, well, I, I'm really doing fine. <laughs> you remember how much fun we had in high school, Rhoda? Oh, yeah. Yeah, those were the happiest days of my life. Mm. I'll never top them. <laughs> it's too bad you can't cling to high school. Yes, you can. And I figured out how. You see, I became alumni secretary for our old class. In fact, I can safely say that I love the class of 59 more than I love my cat. <laughs> you haven't changed, Myrna. You always like cats. No, I always had cats. I never liked them. <laughs> well, 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 are you married? Like 11% of our class, I'm not. <laughs> How do you know that? Well, you see, as alumni secretary, I have to keep up to date. <laughs> yeah, 89% of our class is married. There are 275 children and 38 divorces. No kidding. Oh, oh thanks, Brenda. But here's the biggest surprise of all. Nobody in the class of 59 has died. <laughs> we did have a great hygiene teacher. <laughs> we sure did. May she rest in peace. So, Myrna, tell me, you, you, you might know, uh, how is uh, Linda Monroe doing? It's hard for me to tell you this, Rhoda, but what? she did great. <laughs> how nice. I admire how well you're pretending to take it. <laughs> Rhoda! Rosie! E e Susie! <laughs> Some great diet you don't even show. <laughs> How far along are you? How far along? Yeah. Oh, Susie, this is a bridal shower. Uh, a bridal shower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I brought you uh, diapers and 
a teething ring. <laughs> you see, I figured that... Yeah, I know, I know. It's hard to believe that somebody my age is just now getting married, but <laughs> I figured better late than never, right? Sometimes I think never is better. <laughs> this is number five. Oh, Susie, then you're gonna need these before I do. Please. Uh, Rhoda, what kind of birth control are you using? Oh, the pills. That's what I use. <laughs> when Timothy got his swimming certificate. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Susie, yeah. this is my sister, Brenda. Hello. And uh, her friend, Ellen. Yeah. Susan. <laughs> Pardon us for not rising. <laughs> so, Susan, when's the happy day? Nine months ago. <laughs> Have natural childbirth. No, no, I had it with the first three. I lost interest in the miracle of birth. <laughs> Rhoda. Jeanette, how are Jeanette you? Jeanette Lamont. Oh, of all the people, I'm so glad you could come. Listen, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. But if I don't do it for my best friend from high school, who'll I do it for? <laughs> Nowadays, my best friends are people I don't even like. <laughs> Some of the girls are already here, Jeanette. Say hi. Oh, here, yeah. give me that. That's mine. <laughs> the same. Uh, hello. Can hi. I help you? Hello. I'm uh, Harriet Strongen from the Bronx, and I got your invitation. Aha. Uh -huh. Do we know each other? <laughs> See, this I I party is for people that I went to high school with uh, in 1959. 1959? That's the year I retired. From what? Everything. <laughs> and there was only one Harriet Stronger in the phone book, so I sent her the invitation. I made a mistake. Well, I'm, I'm sorry we got you here for nothing. You're having cake. I love cake. <laughs> Would you like to stay? Please stay. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. And you can keep the gift. Oh. It's, a, it's a lavender sachet. I hope that men still like the smell of lavender. Too many things are unscented today. <laughs> I can't believe how wonderful you look. Oh, Jeanette, look who's talking. You look absolutely marvelous. Uh, thanks. I jog five miles every day, eat only organic foods, and have sex on a regular basis. <laughs> and everything's been just great since my divorce. <laughs> Yellow! <laughs> Yellow. Uh, this is Carlton, your doorman. Oh, hiya, Carlton, old buddy. Hey, have you been drinking? What makes you think that? Because the first time I can understand what you're saying. <laughs> well, what do you need, pal? There's a lady down here to see you. Oh. I don't know, but she's wearing a black hat. It's either Linda or Billy Jack. <laughs> she wrote it. You know, I'm, I'm sorry I invited this person who bothers you so much, but I didn't know. Oh, Brenda, I know you didn't know. I should have gotten you a waffle iron. Oh. She's here. Nice. Well, uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Here's a little something for you. Oh, well, thank you, Linda. Oh, Rhoda. <laughs> let me look at you. <laughs> Come on, Linda. I Come said, on. let me look at you. <laughs> Sure, of course. I didn't know you were that serious. <laughs> my, my, my. You must be so proud of what you've done to yourself, Rhoda. It's amazing. You're absolutely attractive. <laughs> well, you know, Linda, it's... Uh, champagne, Linda? Who's this? <laughs> Nobody, nothing. It doesn't matter. They're just a relative. That's my sister. Oh. Here, darling, take this, will you, and put it somewhere safe. Huh? Sure. I'll put it in the fur room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will you look who's here? High school. <laughs> Hi, sweet Myrtle. Wow, How lovely to see you. You look pretty good, kid. Hello. 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 <gasps> Excuse me. <laughs> I haven't seen you since graduation. You? you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> How many is this? This is five. Ah, you ought to take that husband of yours chain into the kitchen sink. Oh, it wouldn't help. He'd get me while I was doing the dishes. <laughs> oh. Is... Is this... Is this Miss Anderson? Miss, Miss Anderson, Anderson, our hygiene teacher. Oh. Miss Anderson died. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. So if you just fill me in on what you've all been doing, I'll put it in the newsletter. Certainly. Terrific. What would you like to know? Everything. <laughs> Brenda, I need a lot more champagne. <laughs> uh, how much money do you have? My, what a fun question. <laughs> we heard you were rich. Well, rich. Rich is a relative term. It all depends what you consider rich. I don't consider myself rich. It all depends what you call rich. What do you call rich? Over two million dollars. Then I'm rich. <laughs> Matter of fact, if you consider three million rich, then I'd still be rich. I don't believe it. Three million dollars? What do you say? Thank you very much. It wasn't easy. Don't forget, 1959, there weren't as many opportunities for women as there are today. I had to do it the hard way. I married money. <laughs> but we're here to celebrate Rhoda's wedding, right? Rhoda's wedding. Oh, oh, to Rhoda. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rhoda, what's he like, huh? I'll show her the picture, Rhoda. No, I don't think anybody will... Show me the picture. Show her the picture. <laughs> cute. Oh, cute. Cute. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh, his nose is broken. <laughs> so, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Remember when we both tried out for cheerleader and you didn't make it because you couldn't boom a lacquer? <laughs> I never tried out for cheerleader. You most certainly no, did. I, didn't I remember it distinctly. <laughs> if you remember it, I guess I must have. Rhoda! Would you like something to eat? No, darling. Thank you. I'm saving my appetite. My husband and I are going to a really wonderful place for dinner. Well, this is wonderful. I trimmed the fat. <laughs> Speaking of trimming the fat, you know what I mean. <laughs> Linda. Yes, sir. Could I please, uh, please see you for a minute? Of course. Excuse me. Thank you. Just... What? Get out of here. <laughs> Is it too much cheap champagne, Rhoda? <gasps> you have 20 seconds to uh, go. Is it jealousy? Is that what it is, Rhoda? 15 seconds, Linda. I think I'll stay a while. No, no, listen, I'm not going to back down this time. Not this time. What can you do? I can, uh, tell everybody in this room that in three years you didn't take your gym suit home to be washed. <laughs> I have to...
have to go now. <laughs> it was wonderful to see you here. You couldn't look better. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, sweetheart. Lovely to see you. No, I just dropped by to wish Rhoda well and give her a gift. <sighs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> Rhoda asked me to leave. <laughs> I've always been a little pushy, a little aggressive with Rhoda. No, no. And today, for the first time, Rhoda had the uh, guts to confront me. <laughs> and I, I would like to, uh, I would, uh, I'm taking my gift back. <laughs> She took my lavender sachet. <laughs> so aren't you gonna watch me open Linda's gift? Is it ticking? <laughs> it's from Tiffany's. Well, it could be a sterling silver bomb. <laughs> hey. Silver ice tongs. Oh, very classy silver ice tongs. Don't get your hands cold. <laughs> I'll have to use these next time I shake hands with Linda. <laughs> Brenda, Rhoda, thank you for a wonderful shower. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, well, I, I just, I just want to talk to you about one thing. Sure. Well, you remember when you were taking all that stuff from Linda when she was laying it on you? Yeah. And the only time you spoke up was when she started to put me down? Well, I just wanted you to know... Yeah, I that know that you're 21 years old and you're perfectly capable of taking care of yourself. Yeah. No, that I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> 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 